And a very good day to all my viewers out there. We are here in Saint Laurent and what you're looking at is the construction site of the Vertu Garage. The newest garage uh, for the Metro cars that's under construction right now. And really not much to see here, but nonetheless I wanted to come here after work and you know get an opportunity to film for all my viewers. Uh, you know, just to show you what's going on here. Uh, now this is where we are right now. We're at the corner of Grenet and Tassé Street. And I'm going to walk around here a little bit. Uh, basically work my way to the north so all my viewers out there can see what's going on. As they literally lay the groundwork for this new garage. And again, this is under construction right now. And if you actually look over here, it's actually a sign talking about dynamite. Uh, now they're using dynamite, of course, explosives. Get a bit closer here. They're using explosives to dig this tunnel up. And that's what that says right there. And the last time I saw these kind of things is when they were making the extension of the Orange Line in Laval. So today we're just going to walk around this perimeter. Again, this is the corner of Grenet and Tassé. This is Grenet Street. This is Tassé. Uh, we're going to war work our way like I said, down towards this way, uh, a little bit to the north. Hybrid bus, 3700 series. So yeah, like I said, really not much to see here. It's all boarded up, but I'm hoping if we get further down, we could see there's a hilltop up ahead. Hopefully we'll get to see a better vantage point. Um, we're gonna go over here and check it out. Now what used to be here, I believe, is a large parking lot and maybe a couple of old commercial buildings. It's kind of strange because, you know, when they, when they do construction and they board up a large area like this, it's hard to kind of remember what was there. Uh, you can always check, of course, Google Maps, the satellite views. Got some hydro poles up there as well, so... I think there's a electrical facility here at one point. So we're gonna walk around here. We're gonna go up here where this grassy area is right over there and try to get a better vantage point. I'm not sure if we'll see much, but uh, we'll check it out. Well, here you can see a crane at work. Now again, the thing about this garage is most of this work is being done underground. There's only a couple of structures that are being done above ground. But I like to kind of find the, if there's like an opening. You know, sometimes they have openings that you can peer into. I try to find one of those, quickly glance in. Not sure why there's so much coverings. Again, I guess because of the dynamite that's being used to dig the tunnels out. And by the way, I was actually reading, looking more into this project. They're going to be closing Cover 2 Metro Station, I believe, for uh, a couple of, I think a month or two actually in the summer. Not sure if they meant this summer or next summer. Let's cross the street here and, and check it out. All right, so we carefully crossed here. Yeah, so right here, uh, that's saying that there's code of dynamite interesting to see so we're gonna go over here now check this out there that's the 468 bus now if you want to check this out for yourself here's the super c right there and i believe that big street there is marcel laurent or timmins one of the two but uh, like i said really not much to see here Good place for plane spotting. Pretty messy parking lot in the springtime here. And by the way, that over there is the Bombardier building, one of the plants, the Montreal plant. So I'll just go over here and try to see through here. There's an access road to get in. Maybe we could peek inside from this angle of this main work site. Ah, here we go. Yeah, so this is where all that construction is going on, right in here. Yeah, 
can't really see much, but uh, there it is. And again, there's a Super C parking lot. Yeah, so again, there's that main construction site right there. Try to get a couple of shots of that. Much better view of things. There's that massive crane. So again, this project is going to be going on for a while. And most of it's going to be underground. But there will be a couple of structures above ground. So anyway, I just wanted to, you know, show my viewers what's going on here. Give you a perspective of things. And there you can see that hole. I don't want to get too close. But uh, very interesting to see. So again, this is the new garage for the Cofer 2 Metro, the orange line, where a lot of the trains are going to be stored. And I just found out today they're going to be closing Cofer 2 Metro for a little bit of time uh, coming up soon. Don't know if it's this summer or next summer, but I'll keep you update, up to date on that. So have a good day, everybody, and uh, thanks for watching. See you all soon.